back for another video. It's just another one of those days where we're just running some errands and I thought I would take you guys along with me. Today I'm going to get a bang trim with my girl Morgan at Lucas & Co. And yeah, she cut my hair last time. I really, really liked it. I'm not sure if my hair will get washed, but we'll, we'll see. Later on today, I would like to go to Sephora, pick up some makeup. It's just been a really busy week. It's work, but also it's also that time of the month, if you know what I mean. I just haven't been feeling 100%. Lately, I've kind of been in my feelings, I guess you can say, and I don't like to open up too much, but I figured, you know, I have started sharing more um, on here. These days I've kind of been in my head um, in regards to just time. Uh, I feel in a way like, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I kind of feel like I'm running out of time, if that makes sense. I know I'm still young, um, but I am turning 30 this year and Rather than being grateful for the things that I have, which I usually am. I remember when I was like in my like 18, I thought like by this age I'm going to have a house, by this age I'm going to have kids and you know, it hasn't quite panned out the way that I expected it to be. Not to say that I'm not grateful for where I'm at now, I just wish that what I know now and how I feel about myself and you know how comfortable I am in my own skin I just wish I felt that in my early 20s because I just I, 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 I realize how much I've held myself back because of just that fear and just me feeling insecure about myself and sometimes I look back and I wonder you know if I knew what I knew now and I I didn't pay attention to the negative things that were happening or give time to the negative energy and people in my life like I wonder where I would be if I did that and so yeah that's kind of like what I was I've been kind of thinking about and usually I kind of just like ignore it but lately I've just been allowing myself to just sit in that moment and just feel it and analyze what's going on because I've just been kind of down I think um, and I think that's okay I know it'll pass Ultimately, I am very grateful for everything. I'm grateful for finally, you know, being here on YouTube as, and it's something that I have wanted to do for a long time. I'm just glad, regardless if it's, I wish I started sooner, I'm glad I'm here nonetheless. It's something that took me a while to realize that it really lights me up and it's something that gets me excited and inspired. So I'm finally doing things that I enjoy doing but I wish I did it sooner, I guess that's what I'm saying. So for any of you who are wanting to do something and you know you have your fears or doubts or what if it doesn't work out, what if it doesn't pan out the way that I want it to be, I just wanted to tell you, just do it. Don't wait until it's perfect. Don't wait until you find this perfect moment that you think it's time to start. One of the things that I heard is to start before you're ready. And I, now that I'm at this point of my life, I think that's 100% true. I've always been a perfectionist. And because of that, I mean, it's helped me in some areas of my life, but I also think it's held me back in a way. Nowadays, rather than overthinking things, sometimes I just put it out there. Because of that, it's opened up more opportunities because I've done that. And I wish I did that sooner. So for those of you who have that same mindset, you know, I think it's practice. And in those moments where you tell yourself no, try to, try to get out of that mindset and just say, why not? You know, that's all. I think that's just kind of like my my little tidbit that's been on my mind that I wanted to share with you guys. I am about to be late for my hair appointment, so I will see you guys in a bit. Hopefully, I don't know, I'm gonna try to film inside, but if not, I'll just catch you guys back inside the car once it's done, so. Just got my hair done. I thought that we were, um, I was just going in for a bang trim. Luckily, she booked me for a full hair appointment, which I'm so glad because my hair 
definitely needed a wash and she just gave me some bangs a little bit more of a little wisp going on and I still am trying to learn how to style these babies but I'm like also not used uh, every time I get bangs it's like always a fresh new look for me even though I think I've had bangs for couple months already if you guys are in the Roseville area her name is Morgan you can look up Lucas and co ask for her she does such a good job it is about two o'clock but I realize I need to get an oil change so that's what we're going to do today I am off to go home now and pick up Justin your girl is hungry I have a brimless cap. Let's explain, what is that? So, it's basically a cap without the actual brim, which covers your face. Got this for the purpose of covering my head. And it also just protects it too, I think, because during the, during the winter you wear beanies, but during the summer, sometimes you don't want to wear a hat or like a brim, but you still need to protect your head. Remember that one time when I went to the park? And yeah. And you got like I mean, serious sunburn. But yeah, that's his new hat. He has like three different colors. At first I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. But the more that I looked at it, I was like, wait, that's, that's pretty cool. Beanie for the summer. A beanie for the summer. Yeah. You saw it here first. What's up, girl? She needs a haircut bad. Just like my beard. <laughs> We've been bonding. <laughs> so like what is that? Hi. Hi, baby. Get me my salad. I got here a bacon candy. That's like you always get that, huh? Bacon candy, Brussels sprouts. What'd you get for me, Z? Chicken? Chicken and rice and vegetables. Chicken and rice and vegetables for me, Z. guys so I wasn't really able to vlog that much um, while we were out but we are back home now I thought I would kind of go over some new stuff that I had um, I got wow can I speak I can't speak clearly let me drink some coffee first like I cannot speak to save my life hold on I got some coffee I know I usually share stuff with you like dedicated haul video but this one is super casual. I got a few packages, so I thought, why not just share with you guys briefly some items that I got in case you might be interested. Let me clean my glasses. Hold on. Okay. So the first thing that was totally a fail, I'm probably going to return them. I ordered some headbands on Amazon, and the reason why I got them is because since I have bangs when I'm home I like to put them up especially because I have acne prone skin I thought these were going to be really cute I had really good reviews and I the idea was there but I put it on and 
it, it just seems really, really big. Let me do one that's like a lighter color. I just, I just don't know if this is my jam. It's big. I feel like if it was thinner and not as bulky, I think it would have been okay for me. I think these are gonna have to go back. I bought some new pieces from Midjury. So I, I shared with you guys the um, the bold link chain that I had, but I ended up selling that on Depop just because I wanted to get a, um, a, a more d uh, dainty chain. That one was gold for me, but I, I want to kind of invest more in a 14K type of jewelry so that way I don't have to always take it off. I like to be as le low maintenance in regards to my jewelry, so I think this is the boyfriend link chain. If you can tell, this one is a lot more daintier. It's just more of a subtle chain. The other thing that I got were these hoops. They're like very small hoops, but they are also a 14K. They're very simple. I usually wear the croissant hoops or that charlotte hoop, but those ones I always have to take off. And if I like to dress up and have more of a bolder earring, I'll wear them. But I wanted to get something that I can wear on a daily basis without having to take it off. So I go to sleep with these on and I shower with them too. And now considering to possibly get a second piercing, but I don't know, we'll see. Mom, you're probably watching this, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> The last piece of jewelry that I got from Missouri is this sign net. I don't know how to say it. I am terrible when it comes to pronouncing things, but I got this ring. It's 14K as well. And I just wanted something that was less maintenance, especially because I'm washing my hands a lot. I don't want to invest in jewelry uh, for the moment and then later on it's tarnishing. I figured I might as well slowly build my collection I still love the pieces that I'm wearing but moving forward I do want to invest in more like either solid gold or 14k so I don't have to worry about it tarnishing or anything like that Everlane reached out to me and wanted to send me something and I just was so excited because you guys already know how much I love Everlane and they just asked to send me one of their new launches and they launched a swim collection. I'll get into that maybe a few weeks from now because I did order a couple items. But before I sent in my order, they actually sent me a swimsuit and I was so, so excited that they even wanted to send this to me and I was even on their list. I haven't even opened it. Yet. Okay, so they had sent me the marigold color and I had my eye on this one. I actually almost bought it, uh, but I'll show you guys next time what I had ordered myself. This one is the square neck bikini top as well as the high rise hipster bottom also in the color marigold. And I'm, it looks like this is gonna fit me pretty good. I really like the high rise bottoms, especially for bikinis. I just feel like they're a lot more comfortable. For some reason, you guys are interested in my Aritzia hauls. So I got some more socks from them. And these ones are the Wilfred Only Ankle Sock. And I got them in black, white, and these bluish teal color. I, I know this is really random, but Aritzia has really good socks. Anyways, oh, also, I actually ended up getting a few stuff from Sephora yesterday. At first, I decided not to, and then I went back. I got the Arch um, Brow volume Volumizing Fiber Gel. I got it because I usually use the Glossier Brow Gel, but I ran out of it, so I figured I might as well get another one. And so far, Hourglass hasn't disappointed me yet. Also, the lighting is terrible, but this video is very impromptu. We are not worried about lighting. This is real life, and the lighting in my room right now is not the best. Another purchase, very impulsive, uh, was the Dior Addict Lip Glow. Why did I get it, you ask? Um, I don't know. I One, the packaging is great. Um, Two, sometimes I like to just be very simple with my lips, but this gave another an extra color. Three, um, it just had caught my eye at the moment. I tried it today and I was like, oh, okay, I see what it 
does and the texture is nice but is it worth the money haven't quite concluded that yet but also stocked up on the arch brow that i used when i showed you guys my makeup routine um like months ago but this is the uh warm brunette arch brow microscope fitting pencil i really like their brow pencils uh so i stocked up since i was already there nothing too crazy i think that's pretty much it for me i just want to thank you guys for being here for another vlog i didn't really do very much but you know I, i'm not always going out every weekend or going out of town or taking day trips you know sometimes we're just living life and just doing boring things <laughs> So if you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out. I will go ahead and end it here. I will see you guys next week for another video. I love you guys. Take care. Mm.